State television company Westerner Media represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The European Football Cup returning to Nice in 2021. Russia expects UNESCO mission to visit Artsakh soon. Earthquake at Javak. The ban on the supply of F-35 fighters to Turkey will not be lifted. USA. Hassan Cave to become a tourist attraction. War from my eyes. Sarian House Museum will present a symbolic exhibition. Armenian State Jazz Orchestra to perform 20th Century Gems at Retro Jazz Concert. We are pleased to announce that the Conifa Sportsbet.io 2021 Football Cup will take place in Nice, France on June 9 19, 2021. We are also very proud to announce that the following members have won a ticket for the tournament and will be divided into three groups of four during the draw on Sunday. The first boiler, Nice region, South Ossetia, Padania, Abkhazia. Second boiler, Sabmi, Western Armenia, Northern Cyprus, Artsakh. Third boiler, Sicily, Chameria, Sardinia, Kernov, FA. Conifa European President Albert Richo said, We have been working closely with the NICE local committee on a monthly basis since Conifa decided to host it in August. The competition with COVID-19 has become a Tetris game and we work on precautions to ensure everyone's safety. All teams will have to pass the COVID-19 test before flying to Nice. After landing, they will take another test to the local organization to check their health. He added, the committee is proud of this massive tournament for Europe. For the first time we have 12 teams, we can see new federations like Cornwall and Sardinia, which have never been in the previous tournament. We have our current European champions in South Ossetia. I would like to wish good luck to all the teams. The European Committee is also looking forward to working with supporters to find the start of the competition with five multilingual commentators covering our live Maiku Joe broadcast to add even more color to each game of the tournament. Please note that there is a list of reserve teams if one of the qualified individuals is unable to participate in the competition. This list also depends on each team reaching the end of the deadline, signing the tournament contract, paying his contribution to CONIFA so it can be changed. CONIFA is pleased to welcome all of our qualified teams to this summer sportsbet.io European Cup in Nice. President Armenak Abrahamian welcomes this decision of hosting the CONIFA European Championship in Nice, France. He reminded that the last time we met in Artsakh was in 2019, before the war. More than 45,000 Armenians gathered in the stadium after Stepan Shahumyan in Artsakh Stepanakert city to support Western Armenia. Today, I call on Armenians in Europe deported from Western Armenia to come and support not only the victory of Armenian national team of Western Armenia, but also to support the Artsakh team, like the child of Artsakh, carrying the flag of Western Armenia. Armenia runs around the stadium after Stepan Shahumyan, symbolizing the future of our nation. I count on you in order to fill the stadiums. Long live the indigenous peoples. Long live Artsakh. Long live Western Armenia. According to preliminary information, the epicenter of the earthquake was located not far from the Irganchai village of Sameba, the Manisis Ninotsminda municipality. The magnitude of the earthquake at the epicenter was 3.2 at a depth of 10 kilometers. There are no casualties. Russia expects UNESCO's preliminary mission to visit Artsakh and the adjacent areas of Azerbaijan in the near future. Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova informed Panorama Dateyem reports. As far as I know, right now talks are underway on organizing a preliminary UNESCO missions visit to Nagorno-Karabakh and the adjacent districts of Azerbaijan, she said. We hope that this visit will take place in the near future and that it will facilitate and strengthen mutual trust in the region. Earlier on December 21, the UNESCO Secretariat announced its readiness to send a mission of experts to Nagorno-Karabakh and its surrounding areas to help protect cultural heritage, adding only Azerbaijan had not given its agreement for the organization to proceed with the sending of the mission to the field. The US side has once again stated that the ban on the supply of F-35 fighter jets to Turkey for the purchase of Russian S-400 air defense systems will not be reconsidered. According to Defense One, Pentagon spokesman John Kirby referred to the topic during a press conference. Turkey is a strong ally with NATO, but Ankara's decision to buy S-400 systems contradicts its commitments as an ally of the United States and NATO. Our position has not changed. S-400 is incompatible with F-35 and Turkey has therefore been excluded from the fighter program. The ancient cultural city of Hassan Cave, Western Armenia, which has hosted dozens of civilizations and witnessed thousands of years of history, has not been completely submerged. 
the caves survived from ancient times to the present day continue to attract attention with their slander. All these caves will contribute to both tourism and the economy in the future. Long-term excavation works begin this year. The water resources of El Su Dam, together with alternative tourism resources, will be considered as spheres of history, culture, sports and natural tourism. All visitors will get acquainted with more pleasant Hassan Cave when its landscaping is carried out. Within the framework of the In the Shadow of War project, the Martiro Sarian House Museum will launch a sale exhibition entitled War From My Eyes. As reported by Armand Press, the opening of the exhibition will take place on February 7 from 5 to 7 p.m. Works by various artists, stories of war losses and other materials related to war will be presented. Seminars on art, motivation, information will be held during the exhibition. The aim of the project is to show the world the painful losses and feelings we have had, with which we continue to live. All proceeds from the sale exhibition will be used for charity. The State Jazz Orchestra of Armenia will give a concert entitled Retro Jazz on February 19 in the Hall of the Union of Architects of Armenia. As reported by Armen Press, a musical journey to the first half of the 20th century, the golden age of great jazz orchestras, is expected under the direction of the artistic director and conductor of the orchestra, Armen Husnunz. Works by Duke Ellington, Glenn Miller, Tommy Dorsey, County Bass, Artemi Ayvazyan will be performed. After an almost one-year pause, the orchestra resumes the series of thematic concerts in the Hall of the Union of Architects of Armenia. The jazz band recorded a city which will be presented to the audience in the near future. On Western Armenia TV, Rafi Kortoshian, deputy director of the Foundation for the Study of Armenian Architecture, presented the newly published Vars magazine. The following materials were included in the magazine. Turkish plaques of historical monuments of Western Armenia, review of the book Historic City of Ani, activities of building Armenian church in Romania, etc. He refers to the signs representing Armenian cultural monuments in Thailand as Georgian, the cultural heritage of Western Armenia, etc. Now I present you Yaman Yar by Polso Sayatova Choir. <laughs> The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.